Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess. All right, so this recipe calls for uh, just just a whole lot of cheese. I mean, we got we got we got we got ounces of the stuff here. Lobster mac and cheese is, is essentially a way for restaurants to charge you $15 for $2 worth of ingredients. And quite frankly, I would say that I've never had a lobster mac and cheese that was worth it. That is until today. Jesus Christ, Fifle. So it's the lobster macaroni and cheese. Sausage. First, we need to boil the lobster tails, but the water isn't boiled yet, so, so we're, so we're going to make the sauce first. Add a hunk of butter to a different pot, flour it up until it's like a paste. Dump in just a ton of milk and stir it aggressively. Then start adding what appears to be just the wrong amount of cheese. How, how is it possible that this is the right amount? Hey, hey, hey look at that! That, that, that was actually the right amount. All right, add some pepper and just a sprinkle of, n or that's way too much nutmeg. Well, it's, it's too late to go back now. Drop in the lobster tails and cook them until cooked. Now cook the macaroni in the lobster water. Get the lobsters out of the shells the best way you can. Then chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Put the cooked macaroni in an oven-safe vessel, followed by the cheese sauce. Followed by stirring the macaroni in the cheese sauce. Followed by adding the lobster in. Followed by more stirring. Finally, we make the top layer. I'm already in two pots deep, so I'm not, I'm not breaking out a pan for this, but you, you probably should do that. Anyway, get that pot all nice and buttery and add the panko breadcrumbs, and then top your lobster mac and cheese. Throw it in the oven for like 30 minutes, and, and then, you know, get, you know, give that bad boy a shot. It certainly tastes like macaroni and cheese with lobster in it, but what, what do you say we throw this in the grinder and make sausage out of it for old time's sake? I want a sausage all over and over again Till the night closes in Till the night closes in All right, in three, two, one Let's sausage That's, that's one ugly looking sausage. Will it blow? Two thirds of it ended up on the floor and, and that's what we're left with. I'm, I'm gonna have to give this will it blow one Mark Ruffalo's. Here we go. All right, let's let's open her up and and see how we did. Well, it 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 it, pri it primarily looks like uh, macaroni and cheese. And now we're gonna. It's time to taste the sausage. But first, a little a little fan uh, a mail opening has never hurt a single soul. Thank you, a uh, virtual ghost. This is this is a fantastic interpretation of a sausage. All right, enough messing around. Let's try this sausage. It 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 one hundred percent tastes like macaroni and cheese. I taste zero of the of the lobster in this lobster mac and cheese sausage. I I wouldn't go through all the trouble of 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 making this to 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 make it into a sausage. And for that reason alone, I'm gonna have to give this sausage here a two out of five. Pop 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 pop.